My name is Cynthia Adelmann and I work for the Federal Office for Migration and Refugees in Germany. My main job tasks are conducting interviews with applicants for asylum and writing decisions afterwards. I'm also specialized in carrying out the asylum application for unaccompanied minors. Hi, my name is Muriel. I am head of the training unit in the Belgium Office of Commissioner General for Refugee and Stateless Persons. My main tasks are to build and organize training programs for our staff and case officers. I also coordinate the trainers' pool by giving them some advice on didactics and I also give some EASO didactic training. Hi, my name is Yamandula. I am an asylum official in Greece, working for the Greek Asylum Service in the Training, Quality Assurance and Documentation Department. My main job tasks are providing quality review on asylum decisions, drafting guidelines for asylum-related staff, and organizing and delivering trainings. Hi. My name is Felisa Zoppardi. I am a reception support worker in one of the open centers in Malta. My main tasks include informing asylum seekers about their rights and responsibilities, assisting asylum seekers during registration, coordinating their appointments and managing accommodation facilities. In IALSO, we're committed to design quality training that helps asylum and reception officials to do their job better. This is quite challenging as across Europe, officials with the same job titles are responsible for different tasks. So, we decided to identify all of the tasks that asylum and reception officials do. Together with EU member states, we identified all of the job tasks, and there are lots of them. Then, we grouped them around related themes, and established the knowledge, skill and responsibility needed to perform the task, and indicated the level of complexity. This resulted in a large comprehensive grid of occupational standards. Now you might ask, what has that got to do with the training? Well, we identified the learning needed to perform each task, or as we call them, educational standards. All educational standards are learning outcomes, and they form a grid which we call the European Sectoral Qualification Framework for Asylum and Reception Officials, or ESQF. This grid of learning outcomes will be used as a reference to the training provided by EASO making sure that the content of the training matches the learning required for the job tasks. Using the ESQF, IASO will design smaller modules of learning with no repetition that can be put together to build flexible learning paths that match your tasks exactly. Using the ESQF, programs of learning will be built to reflect the exact job tasks of learners, including yours. The ESQF is for asylum and reception officials, including the tasks done by those who are managing the asylum and reception processes. EASO training modules may be taken by any person responsible for the implementation of the common European asylum system. This is how EASO designs fit-for-purpose, flexible training using the European Sectoral Qualification Framework for Asylum and Reception Officials, the ESQF. For more information, you may contact training at iaso.europa.eu.